I was thinking, and I kind of like this idea. What if From Software and Atlas teamed up to make a Shin Megami Tensei game? I know that was a bit of a mouthful, but uh, I love the Shin Megami Tensei games. The first one I ever played was Nocturne. Um, or I should say, I guess you could say Persona 3. But um, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne is the one that really blew my mind. I thought Persona 3 was okay. Um Persona 4, I think, is the best Persona that I've played. Um, I have not played 2. So let's just put that caveat in there. Um, and I don't... I mean, either 2 uh, Innocent Sin or Eternal Punishment. I haven't played either of them. So this is just from playing 1, 3, 4, and 5. And I don't count the spinoffs. Um, but I was thinking... Because of Shimigami Tensei's main plot, you know, basically some thing happens to rip open the barriers between the human world and the spirit world, we'll just say, um, and demons, angels, monsters, folklore creatures all pour in to our reality, and it basically creates a, an apocalyptic situation. That's straight up from software's MO with their games. You know, the dark, and uh, since I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring again, um, I was just thinking, I'm like, imagine exploring a completely destroyed Tokyo, ruined buildings, and there's all these different demons, monsters, and everything you have to fight through. And then I, I was thinking, you know, like how you had some of the enemies with the spears. And then there's Setsuna uh, and uh, Kuchuhulain, uh, as some people with spear types. And I just started imagining like the combat styles for the different monsters. And I'm just like, this could work. You know, you'd have to have a specific limited amount of characters. But I think that they could do it. I don't know if they would ever team up and do that. I mean, From Software's newest game, I hear, is actually really good. Um, you know, but it was just an idea. I thought it was really neat, and it would be really cool if that actually happened. You know, imagine just, again, a ruined Tokyo. You've got a sword and a gun, so instead of bows, you get guns. Um, and you have to fight all sorts of monsters and if you are familiar with the shimigami tensei games uh they can have anywhere between like 150 different monsters and demons and stuff all the way up to around 400 i think shimigami tensei 4 apocalypse had the most amount of uh you know monsters and demons and all that out of all of them I don't think there would be like that many but i could see them how they could probably get a hundred or so specific ones that you could run across i mean worse come to worse you pallet swap some of them um but yeah i mean elden ring has a wide variety of enemies and there is a little bit of pallet swapping but it's fine it's a it's a massive game i mean i don't even think i've explored half the world so far anyways have a good day